Endrick has become the next Brazilian superstar while still being a teenager. He's been blessed with amazing footballing ability, like having deadly pace, powerful shooting, incredible strength, accurate finishing, etc. Now it's definitely been a while since the country of Brazil has had a wonder kid as hyped up as Endrick is. However, even the biggest club in the world, Real Madrid, bought into the hype, with them securing Endrick's signature for $60 million. So how did Endrick, a young mix of R9, Cristiano Ronaldo, and Adriano, become a future superstar for the Brazilian national team? Well, let's take a look at the rise of Endrick. Endrick was born on July 21st, 2006 in the capital of Brazil, Brasilia. Now, just like most hyped up Brazilian winter kids, Endrick grew up in an impoverished environment. In fact, a story of Endrick's past became public and it just shows how hard his childhood life was. One night, Endrick was hungry and went to his father, Douglas Souza, and asked if he could have some food. Douglas, the father, didn't have any extra food at the time since he couldn't afford it. And because of this, he couldn't give anything to Endrick to help his hunger. Knowing this, Douglas Souza broke down into tears knowing that he couldn't help out with the basic needs of providing him food. But then, Endrick showed signs of his maturity, something he's always had since a young age, and promised his father that he'll become a professional footballer to make sure him and the rest of his family live more comfortably. And that's exactly what Endrick did. From a young age, Endrick was always gifted with the ball at his feet, and started to play the sport ever since he was 4 years old. His dad, Douglas Souza, saw how talented his son was at the beautiful game. That's when during some of Endrick's youth games, he started recording Endrick's goals and skills and posting them on YouTube, in hopes of finding clubs that were interested in taking Endrick in. Now, there were many interested parties. With at the start, Sao Paulo and Corinthians, two massive Brazilian clubs who were really interested in signing the prospect. However, these Brazilian clubs were later put off, since they would have to pay for the accommodations, food, travel, etc. for not only Endrick, but the rest of his family. Sao Paulo and Corinthians reportedly didn't want to take that big of a risk on a young boy who was showing promise, hence why they decided not to take him in. However, another huge Brazilian club wasn't bothered by the extra cost, and that was Palmeiras, who gladly accepted Endrick into their youth teams. Additionally, Endrick's father, Douglas Sousa, was given a job at Palmeiras to be a cleaner of the training grounds, helping him earn an honest living, and also allowing him to eat good food since he was allowed to eat at the cafeteria. Thing is though, initially Douglas Souza only ate soup, and that was because he only had seven teeth in his mouth. Since Edric was still very young and couldn't provide money for dental treatment like that, Palmeiras goalkeeper Gelson stepped in and decided to pay for the treatment for Edric's father, which allowed him to eat more than just basic soup. Anyways, enough about Edric's childhood, let's get onto the footballing part of Edric's life. Now, Edric had eyes on him since he was very young, and became an extreme extremely hyped prospect for Brazilian football and Palmeiras. Not gonna lie, no Brazilian wonder kid has been hyped up as much as Edric was since Neymar Jr. It's been more than a decade since Brazil had a wonder kid like this. And yes, I know, Vinicius was signed by Real Madrid at a very young age when he was with Flamengo as well, but he wasn't hyped up as much as Neymar was, or even Edric right now. Now, Edric has had much more of the spotlight on him, just like it was for Neymar, like I already said, and other previous wonder kids, like Alexander Pato, Robinho, Adriano, etc. Now, most of the wonder kids that I just mentioned did not live up to their full potential. But for Endrick, it seems different. For example, he did the best in the youth ranks compared to the previous Wonder Kids because in 5 years playing for the under 15s, under 17s, etc, he scored 165 goals in 169 games, showing that he was way too good for his age group. Real quick before we get on with the rest of the video, please remember to subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate it and it means a lot, so thank you. And also, if you guys can, follow my Twitter and Instagram, both at Nabuto, if you just want to hear my thoughts on football games, transfers, and overall just to get to know me more. So if you want to, feel free to hit me up with that follow. Anyways, back to the video. So that's when in the 2022 Copa Sao Paulo tournament, more often known as the Copinha, the biggest under 20 tournament in Brazil, Edric was selected to play for the Palmeiras team, even though he was around four years younger than the players in this age group. It didn't matter though, because Edric became the main spotlight at this tournament despite his young age. I would even go as far as to say that he looked like the man that was playing against boys. At this tournament, he scored some incredible goals, like an amazing bicycle kick during a professional game, and also displayed his incredible technical ability. Edric was the undoubtable star of the tournament, with him finishing the competition with seven goals in seven games, meaning he pretty much scored a goal in every single game he played. To top things off as well, Edric scored in the final in a 4-0 thrashing of Neymar's Brazilian club, Santos, and this added up with him winning the player of the tournament and also helping lead Palmeiras to their first Copinha title, making history for this already massive Brazilian club. These types of dominant youth performances have only been dubbed by the most elite Brazilian footballers, like Pele, Ronaldo, etc. Edric was pretty much performing at those levels of excellence when those greats were at his age. Edric has pretty much shown that in his youth games and even the Copinha, that he was the full pack. 
package. Like I mentioned in the beginning, he had powerful strength, electric pace, controlled dribbling, techie skills, and even insanely accurate finishing, which is how he scored 165 goals in 169 youth games. Andrew has been compared to a lot of footballers so far, like Vinicius, even though they're nothing alike, and even Neymar, who isn't anything alike Andrew as well. In fact, the best comparison that you can make for Andrew is killing Mbappe himself, someone that Andrew admitted that he has a similar play style to. This is because their dribbling is pretty similar, with both of them being able to dribble while sprinting at a fast pace, and even both having the ability to play as a striker or even on the wings. However, many football fans see Andrew as a young Brazilian Ronaldo, or Cristiano Ronaldo, or in fact, even Adriano, since they both have 99 strength and a magisterial left foot. Now with all this hype building around Andrew, it was only right that Palmeiras took him in for the first team, and in October 2022, Andrew made his professional debut for Palmeiras at just 16 years, 2 months, and 16 days old, becoming the youngest player ever to appear for Palmeiras. Remember, this Palmeiras team is the best in recent history, with them winning back-to-back -back Comabo Libertadores titles for the first time when they won it in 2020 and 2021. So for Andrew to break into the first team of this Palmeiras squad at just 16 years old shows how impressive he actually is. Also, Andrew scored his first two goals against Atletico Paranaense, I hope I pronounced that correctly, becoming the second youngest goal scorer in the history of Brazil's first division. With Andrew now playing for the first team of Palmeiras, scoring goals and showcasing his amazing technical ability, it was only a matter of time until top European clubs started putting in offers. And almost every single big club was interested. Chelsea, Manchester City, PSG, Man United, Liverpool, Barcelona, etc. were all interested in signing the next Brazilian great. However, it was Real Madrid who won out in the end, with Edric stating that Cristiano Ronaldo was his idol when he was young, and that's why he took a very big liking to Real Madrid. Plus, with the Brazilian players dominating at the Madrid club, like Vinicius Jr. and Rodrigo, it only makes sense that Edric saw this and realized that he could become great like those two Brazilian players are for the club. Hence why Edric agreed to a move to Real Madrid in December 2022 for $60 million. However, Edric can't play for Real Madrid until he turns 18, since those are the international rules. So until July 2024, when he actually turns 18, he'll be sticking with Palmeiras, helping them out on winning more trophies. Now, how did Edric become so great, and what are the expectations for him in his career? As we all know by now, Edric has come from extremely humble beginnings, like growing up in poverty and not having enough food when he was a kid. From a young age, Edric always knew that football was his way out, and also his family's. Making it in the sport was the only way he could make sure his family doesn't go a night hungry again, and that was his motivation. For many of us watching this video, including myself, we would never know how hard it is to grow up that poor, knowing that football was the only way out to make it in life. Especially if you're living in the United States, most of us live pretty decently. However, for Endrick, he's been through hell and back during his childhood years, and that's what built his hunger for success. No pun intended. As we can see from his interviews and the way he addresses himself, he seems to be very humble and focused on accomplishing his goals. In fact, his desire to be the best runs so deep that he came out and said, I'll always fight. I'll be persistent and try until the last minute I'm in the game. I never give up. I run more than anyone else on the pitch. This sort of mentality reminds me a bit of Erling Holland, someone who doesn't really prioritize his public brand image and fame, and all he cares about is being the best and everything comes after that. And just by researching Endrick, seeing the way he carries himself on and off the pitch, you can tell he's going to be an all-time Brazilian great, and Real Madrid definitely got another gem on their hands. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, please remember to subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Also, please follow my Instagram and my Twitter. The links are in the YouTube description. And also, if you want to learn more about how Saudi Arabia are taking over modern football, you definitely want to check out this video right here. You won't regret it.